I just want it all I feel like everyone's watching me And I ain't stopping it all You're gonna feel my grind, my grind Whether it's sunny or rainy Going every day You're gonna feel my Hi guys, back again. I'm Micah Floyd with Shout Out World here at Magic City Con 2017 with the illustrious Steve Valentine. Peace out. What's going on? Oh, oh. So excited for this. Thank you so much again, Steve, for doing it's, this for it's us. It's my pleasure to be here. All right, so yeah. of course, per usual, guys, we got your questions here at Magic City Con. Your questions. And we are asking Steve what you want to know. So, tell Steve, me, tell me. first off, yes. you were in the Wizards of Waverly Way, all right? Uh, Waverly, Waverly, Waverly Place. Waverly. Waverly Place Way. The movie. Woo. Wizards right. of Waverly Place. Waverly movie. Place, the movie. Yeah. Um, so, question was, how was it working with Selena Gomez? Uh, <laughs> I, mean, I get asked that a lot, and everyone is disappointed with the answer. She's a sweetheart. There's not an there's not a, a, a edge to her. Um, we were, <laughs> we everyone wants like the gossip, you know. And there's no gossip. Now the rest of the cast. We're getting drunk and having a good time. <laughs> but she was too young at the time. You know what she was doing? Well, it, we shot it in Puerto Rico, so 19 oh, years old. Then never mind. Drinking. Good job, Puerto Rico. Yay, Puerto Rico. Actually, I love Puerto Rico. It's beautiful. Uh, but uh, Selena, like, we were out after the shoot at the pub or the bar or whatever. Selena's rescuing dogs on the beach. Oh my God. It's, what a sweetheart. It's like, <laughs> like this, you know. She's an angel. She's an angel. Honestly, like she's an absolute sweetheart. Yeah. I have a huge crush on Selena Gomez, so I'm pretty happy to hear that news. Selena, yeah, she's great. Give me a call. All right. So, next question actually yes. comes from one of your biggest fanboys, the guy behind the camera, actually. Who is All right. uh, What was your craziest childhood memory? Crazy that like of just, all time? Just yeah. Whatever shocks you in the head. Accidentally setting fire to a field and racing the fire home. <laughs> racing? And then getting punished big time. By because it folks. followed you, it followed you home. Well, you know, you got the fire stuff, you're like, oh shit, I gotta run. And um, luckily it was, a, it was an old uh, field, it wasn't near any homes or anything. Behind my uh, house where I used to live, there was these just like acres and acres of like old unused land, like trees, and, and you know brush. what? It, yeah, and it was a case of playing with matches, like they tell you not to do. And I'm like, nine, but it's really eight, nine years old. Yeah, and then you drop a match, and then the thing goes up, and you're like, oh, I'm just gonna run, no one will know, and then. <laughs> <laughs> That was crazy. That was one of my craziest. No one stories. tell. No one tell us what I'd be, I'd be screaming as I'm running away. <laughs> so um, we also know. Yeah. If, if you guys didn't know, little known fact about you, Steve. You're a, you're a magician. I, I am. All right. We I got am. we got a I question. Do so, bad magic every now and again. Someone knows this, and they asked, "Who could you beat in a magic off?" Oh. Oh. Yeah. A magic off. Yeah. We're gonna go. Well. I do, uh, my kind of magic is like stand up sleight of hand. So I okay. would never go on, I would never compete with like a Copperfield with the Illusions or a, or a Chris Angel, any of those so guys. You, you can't compete with Pin and Teller or anything like that. I wouldn't do, I wouldn't, I wouldn't compete with the guys with the big show. So okay. Like, if I was going to go on a magic off, it would be a, a stand up kind of comedy magic, magic off. And then, but I just, I just launched the new one man show that's, um, that's different. It's a narrative, it's a story with a magic weave into it. And so it's kind of a self, it's my story essentially. What, what is it called? What is it called? It's called Deceptions. We have, if you're coming to Hollywood, Deception. we're doing it starting in two weeks, every Sunday, indefinitely, Great. at the Black Rabbit Rose nightclub. Hey, Black, check it out. Yeah. Check it a, out if you're in Cali. It's a brand new venue, brand new nightclub that just opened on Hollywood Boulevard. And uh, every Sunday we're going to be doing the show. Come check it out. That sounds really awesome. Guys, check out our show, Deception. It sounds really cool. Who doesn't love magic and stand up? Crap. Yeah. I, all right, so we're gonna keep moving on. I know you're a busy guy. Uh, right. So what we're gonna be doing? Yes. Our uh, next question. Let's yes. see. Uh, let's see. You were Somebody. a fat. You were a fast addition at this con, right? Uh, you, they called you like a week before the con happened, if, if I'm not understood. Yeah. And uh, you were just, you know, okay, well, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. My problem is it's hard for me to book stuff because um, I never know where I'm gonna be. Okay, that makes sense. So, so um, did you break a lot of schedules for us? Do we do we get to feel special? Yeah, that was it. All right. They called me and I was like, screw everything else, I'm coming. 
we're going to keep that answer and not go any further. <laughs> Thank you, Steve. You're welcome. Magic City. Magic City. All right. All right, Steve, I got about two more questions for you. And these are possibly the hardest questions that I have to ask you right now. Okay, wait. Okay, I'm ready. Shake it off, man. I need you to get in this right okay, now. Okay, you ready? We ready, guys? Okay. So, Hufflepuff, right. Ravenclaw, Gryffindor, Slytherin. Go. Ooh, Slytherin. My man. You just got a new fan, sir. You just, wait, uh, uh, what are we oh, doing? God, I'm so white. Hey, I have the, I have, wait, no. <laughs> guys, I lost my black card down the hall. I don't know where it is. I'm so sorry about that. All right. All right, last question. Yeah. The hardest one. Okay. Puppies or kitties? Puppies. 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 You, Steve Valentine, if you, have one if you never saw, fan. If you never saw the episode I did of Supernatural, I ate a cat. I know. So, just saying. So, um... And we had to shoot that three or four times, so we went through a lot of cats. That's a lot of cats, guys. Yeah. You put a few of the uh, stereotypes to shame. That's why don't stereotype people. <laughs> Never stereotype. Never stereotype. Because that makes you a stereotype. Because you're a stereotype of someone who stereotypes. That's the stereotype you don't want to be. And now you know. Now you know. All right, Steve, thank yeah. you so much for this, man. It's it has been it. so much fun. A lot of fun. You've just Shout made out. a huge fan. And thank you again from Shout Out World. Once again, I'm Micah Floyd with Steve Valentine here in Magic City Hi guys. on 2017. Thank you guys so much. Cheers.